Mr. Peter Laidoris has accepted appointment as a moderator's teller to count the section on my right, your left. Thank you. Uh, also, under the bylaws, uh, the moderator has the opportunity to name an assistant moderator for the session of the meeting. And the chair has asked uh, Mr. Drew Laidotis uh, to be assistant moderator for this evening in case we need an assistant moderator for taking care of an overflow facility. And this requires a majority vote of the meeting. On the question as to whether the meeting agrees with the moderator's appointment of Mr. Drew Laidotis as assistant moderator for this evening. All those in favor, please say aye. Those opposed? Carry. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Laidotis and Mr. Laidotis. Mr. Vino. Mr. Moderator, I move that the following persons be admitted to the meeting. Kevin Buckley, KBA Architects. David Troughton, School Superintendent. Jennifer Kermack, 1 Peabody Court. Patrick O'Rourke, 1 Peabody Court. Okay, you've heard the motion to admit people who are not registered voters to the meeting. Anybody want me to read the names again? On the motion to admit four people to the meeting, all those in favor, please say aye. aye. Those opposed, unanimous. Okay, uh, now we come to the Pledge of Allegiance of, to the, of the flag. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. Would you please all rise and the Chairman of the Board of Selectmen will lead us in the pledge. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. To the I would like to point out that except for those people who are, uh, of the people who are not registered voters, except for those people who are employed by the town and who may be seated with their respective boards and committees, all visitors should be seated in the three front rows in the section to my right, your left, uh, except for press coverage and uh, maintenance services. Uh, tonight's badge is a white badge. Uh, it identifies you as a voter. Uh, please wear it on an outer garment. If you're taking off your jacket, uh, make sure you transfer your badge from your jacket to whatever the outer garment is of what you're wearing. Uh, is there any other business to come before the meeting before we start with Article 1? A motion would be in order to dispense with the reading of the warrant. Do we have the motion that's usually made by the Board of Selectmen? Mr. Murphy. Article 1, to hear and act on reports of town offices and committees. I move to hear and act upon the reports of town offices and committees as may be presented at this meeting. motion to hear and act upon the reports of town offices and committees. Uh, is there any discussion? Does the, board, uh, does the finance committee does, uh, wish to make a recommendation? There's no action required on that article. Does the Board of Selectmen wish to make a recommendation? No, the Board of Selectmen does not wish to make a recommendation. On the motion, are there any reports to be presented under this article? There are no reports to be presented under this article, so this means that the written reports are accepted. On the motion to accept, all those in favor, please say aye. aye. Those opposed, unanimous. 
Mr. Murphy, can we now have a motion to dispense with the reading of the warrant? Mr. Moderator, I move to dispense with the reading of the warrant and to refer to the articles by number and further to dispense with the reading of, of the return of service by the constable. You've heard the motion. Is there any discussion? Does the Finance Committee wish to make a re recommendation? And the answer is in the negative. Uh, on the motion to dispense with the reading of the warrant, etc. All those in favor, please say aye. aye. Those opposed? Unanimous. Article 2. Article 2. Mr. Smith, please state your name and address, sir. William Smith, 230 Elm Street. Mr. Moderator, I move to take Article 14 out of order in the warrant and to dispense with the action on Article 2 through 13 until action is taken on Article 14. Could I have that motion in writing, please? The motion is to take Article 14 out of order in the present and to dispense with section on Article through 2 through 13 until, until action, on until action on is taken on Article 14. Now this is a motion to take an article out of order requires a four-fifth vote. On the motion to take Article 14 out of order, uh, first of all, does the Finance Committee have a recommendation? No. Does the Board of Selectmen have a recommendation? No. Mr. Smith, you you have the floor. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'm William Smith, 230 Elm Street. As, as everybody in this hall knows, this particular uh, renovation of the Bachelor School and the differential between the Bachelor School and Swan Pond School has been a bone of contention for a long period of time. It's been 10 years that we've heard that the primary and the ultimate primary um, goals and objective of the school committee and the school building committee is to increase the school situation, in, increase the educational facilities either at the bachelor school or at the Swan Pond site. I personally would like to see this article come forward for, for a number of reasons. And number one, I've been a supporter of this particular school renovation program for the last 10 years and I think most of the uh, older generation in the community has too. We've divided ourselves between the older generation and the younger generation as to where the school would properly be located. This year, for the first time, we have consideration from the um, Historical District Commission, the School Committee, and the School Building Committee. And we would really like to put this thing behind us. I think this is the primary objective, um, and I think it, it warrants consideration prior to the, the high school and the middle school renovation programs. We've, we've listened to the, the battles back and forward. We've heard the uh, newspaper articles, we've read the newspaper articles rather, and we've seen for the first time in last week's transcript that the North Reading editorial also recommends the renovations as the top priority for the bachelor school. When we uh, uh, originally formulated the Historic District Commission, the bachelor school was included in that district as an educational facility and it was supposed to be there forever. Since that time, a lot of the elements that we originally had, had approved in town have been misplaced or forgotten about, but this was one of the primary reasons. Our objections against this one, Paul, were numerous, and you all heard about those, but our, our reasons for the bachelor school was because of its near proximity to the police and fire stations, its closeness to the center of town, the activities that go on in the center of town, so that the kids can, can see these things take place, as you all well have seen. Um, I had a whole bunch of notes at home, and I got out of work late, I got home a quarter of seven, Mr. I raced up here. Uh, but uh, I would like to just see this uh, approved Mr. Smith, taken out of order. Mr. Smith, uh, could you, the, right now, what is before us is a motion to take Article 14 out of order. Uh, your remarks would be most appropriate if the main motion under Article 14 were before us, which it is not. Could you restrict your comments 
to those that are germane to the question as to why we need to consider it now as opposed to considering it later on in the meeting when it is properly brought before us uh, in the order of the warrant. Okay, that's, that's good. I'm glad you pointed that out. I should have done that. But um, the main reason is I would like to see this one acted on prior to the uh, renovation programs of the high school and the middle school. I think we all know it's a, a bone of contention. It's a priority. So I would like you to do act, act favorably on my motion. Thank you. On the motion to take this Article 14 out of sequence, Mr. Venezia. Gerald Venezia, 9 Pine Glen Drive, member of the school committee, a member of the elementary school building committee. Uh, we're here tonight, both the school committee and the elementary school building committee, to ask you to approve Article 14. <coughs> we're not here to politicize it. We're not here to go over this history this, that Mr. Smith raises. I would ask you to take this article in its appropriate order, that is, as Article 14, when we get to it. We're trying to stay away from all this political shenanigans. We're trying to stay away from what Mr. Smith has raised here again tonight, all the ugly history here. We're going to come to you at the appropriate time. We want to make a presentation for you to consider, and we're going to ask you to approve it. It has the unanimous support of the school committee and the elementary school building committee. We'd like to keep it as Article 14, and when we get to it, we'll talk about it. Thank you very much. Ms. Jenkins, please state your name and address, ma'am. Dana Jenkins, 226 Haverhill Street. Town meeting approximately three years ago voted to stop the lottery and taking articles out of the lottery box. One of the reasons was in order for people to be prepared, and now that the articles are in numerical order, that people and committees can take things in order. If we start taking articles out of order, then the committees and the parents of the people that need to be at this meeting don't have the opportunity to be here. I would vote against taking this article out of order. Mr. O'Leary, please state your name and address, sir. Steve O'Leary, 15 Mead Road. Uh, I, too, rise in opposition to the motion that is before us. I think adequate notification was given to the general public through the, uh, the warrant, where some people may be planning to come here a little bit later in the evening after they put the kids to bed to get here in time for articles, uh, the school, school articles, uh, not just this one here. And I think it would be most appropriate if we take it in order, get on with the business, and hopefully get through with this meeting in one night. Mr. Murphy. Mr. Moderator, the Board of Selectmen, by a vote of four to one, would prefer not to take the article out of order. Thank you. Any further discussion? Hearing none, gentlemen at uh, near the microphone, please state your name and address, sir. Gerald Woodmansey, 34 Elm Street, North Reading. We've been through this on a bachelor school. Let's get it done right now. We've been pushing around and everything else and putting this thing off and it's time that we do it, and it's one of the most important things in the warrant here, and we should do it now. It's the oldest one that's been hanging for many years, and we should do it now and get it over with. This is a motion to take an article out of order. It requires a four-fifth vote. We will immediately proceed to a counted vote. All those in favor of taking Article 14 out of order Please raise your right hand, and with my tellers, please go to work. <coughs> Mr. Romano, 14, 1, 4. Mr. Laidotis? Two. Mr. Jones? Nine. Nine. All those opposed, please raise your right hand. Mr. Lidotis. 36. 36. Mr. Romano. 45. Mr. Jones. 60. 60. 60.
The vote is 25 in favor, 141 opposed. The motion is lost. We have